So the end users have the ability uh, to reject or accept, and this is the step uh, to close this loop and allow the user to provide their feedback. In order to um, allow the end user to investigate further what is the source of the deviation, um, then um, by clicking on the anomaly score, we see uh, how, how the actual uh, measurements are deviating from the predictions from the LSTM models and how anomaly scores are increasingly indicating uh, um, abnormalities. So once these um, anomaly scores are automatically resulting in generation of insights, then end users are able to take action and either accept or reject and uh, link their actions into the maintenance management systems. So this would provide an end-to-end -end overview of the tool that is based on the framework.